what is Cerablon and how is it related to imids? It's actually a relatively recent discovery that these drugs as a class tend to function by um, affecting how this protein Cerablon works. Cerablon is part of the normal processes of inside the cell of protein uh, degradation. Typically, your body's cells tag proteins that for degradation. And this is a process by which self-renewal within the cell during its lifespan uh, occurs. The immunomodulatory drugs bind to cerebellum and lead to targeting of specific proteins called transcription factors uh, for degradation, uh, the Icarose and the Alos, this, this family of transcription factors. And that uh, has a variety of, as I discussed earlier, ple pleiotropic effects in my, uh, myeloma cells and also in immune cells uh, that are distinct uh, in the sense that it's toxic to myeloma cells and uh, enhances in some ways uh, the activity of some immune cells. But the protein itself is intracellular uh, and isn't uh, something that's typically tested on the cell surface. Cerebron is, uh, is an intracellular mo molecule that is the target for uh, for all the immunomodulatory agents, thalidomide, lenalidomide, pomalidomide, and now ibridomide. Uh, interesting enough, this was not discovered until many years after we have started using those agents. Uh, and, uh, and essentially, uh, the cerebron essentially modulates the activity of two other gene regulators, uh, uh, one of them being Icarus, um, and there has been some uh, good attempt of correlate the level of cerebron activity, uh, of the level of cerebron in the, in the myeloma cell with the activity of those agents, although this has not yet pan out as a, being a true biomarker that can be used uh, for treatment decisions. So uh, it's, uh, we still know very little about the, uh, we know a little bit more than, uh, quite a bit more than we knew 10 years ago of how those drugs work. Uh, but we uh, have still very little knowledge of how the resistance develops or whether the cerebral expression can or should be used as a biomarker for selection of uh, patients who are best, ca best candidates for image. In part of that is because image have been a widespread success uh, that seems to uh, be a kind of fixture of just about any or the vast majority of myeloma regimens. So it's kind of has been challenged to find a subset of patients that would not benefit uh, from an immunomodulatory agent. So the race has really been about making more specific, less toxic, more active uh, immunomodulatory agents.